Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Last time we left off, we could have deal with the possessed Sophia Dryden to destroy this tower in return for her to seal the veil and answer Mr. Levy's questions. So, let's press on. Uh -oh. Oh! Oh, I'm surrounded! Big mistake! Taking some hacking down today. Any more for any more? Wait a minute, before I go rushing off here, there's a few bits and bobs that need addressing. Old research from the Avernus experiments. Day 32. The subject is not responding to the stimuli. Testing the pain threshold has uncovered nothing. Only three subjects are left. Day 82. If only I could reproduce last night's extraordinary success. Electricity is only a catalyst. The blood is the key. Day 97. Energy and blood. Repeated applications have duplicated the results. I conjecture that success can be induced alchemically. But there are no more subjects left. If only I had one more, or a dozen, the things I could do. Oh. Testing on people? I mean, I'm no angel myself, but that, I think, is quite sick. Avernus's horrific research. He promises to unlock the hidden potential of the tainted blood you drank during joining. Drink the vial's contents, destroy the vial, leave the vial alone. Hmm. Personally, I think this work is far, far too... I don't know. I'll leave it alone for now. Let me read these notes. Decision. The taint allows us to sense the darkspawn. The longer we survive with the taint in our blood, the more potent it becomes. Unfortunately, this corruption will eventually overwhelm the warden. Over time, it devours both might and body, leaving nothing but what if the spread of the corruption could be stopped, or contained in some way? What if the warden could become more powerful without having to having that power kill him? How great would that power be? Would it be enough to stop the demons? The joining ritual is crude. We take into ourselves the blood of the darkspawn in the most obvious way. Most die from the corruption immediately. It is, after all, poison. There must be some way to refine the joining. Isolate the true power that is found in darkspawn blood and leave behind the evil that kills us. I can feel the corruption starting to take its toll on my body. I must not succumb. There is too much work to be done. Through my magic I've been able to slow its inevitable spread, but not stop it completely. I'm starting to hear things even while awake. A voice, more beautiful than any other, that calls to me from the depths. In my dreams I see the black city. I am drawn towards it. There is something there, an answer to what this taint is. This taint that we share with the darkspawn. Okay, so this concoction has a potential to slow the spread of the taint. Well, don't mind me, guys. I think uh, I'm going to have a wee drink. Anything to prolong my life is a good thing, right? Let's just take a wee sip. Pain in your body, but there is power in this pain. A hint of understanding. Oh! And with that, abilities. Oh, bloodthirst. 
Oh dear, what's this? The warrior's own tainted blood spills in sacrifice, increasing movement speed, attack speed, and critical hit chance for as long as the mode is active, however the warrior suffers greater damage. Or there is blood fury. The warrior sprays tainted blood in order to knock enemies back. The power of blood. Hmm. Sprays blood to knock back enemies. To a loss of your own health. Okay. Unleashed. Some more powers, it seems. Oh, that's the end. Right, onwards. What the hell? Look at this place. I hear you. Don't disrupt my concentration. Surely. That can't be. It's been f how many years? Even now, the demons seek to replenish their numbers. Are you to thank for this welcomed but temporary imbalance? How the hell are you still alive? Only just. I have only a short time left. Careful. This man has dabbled in matters forbidden by the Maker. He may look frail, but don't trust him. So the Maker told you that, did he? Short-sighted men have forbidden my research, not any god. <laughs> Enough. Why are you here? What is your intent? <sighs> I've seen your experiments, my friend. And I'm not impressed. They were necessary. Any tool, any iota of information that could defeat the fell demons was justified. As a warden, you should know that. Necessary? Having to relieve yourself after an eight-hour ride is necessary. Sir. But there's no excuse for summoning demons. Mm. Oh, Alistair sounding a bit uh, commanding there for a change. Well, I'm afraid Soldier's Peak must be rid of this plague of demons. Agreed. This must be the first priority. The only priority. Don't sound so impressed, my friend. Because I am debating whether I should let you live. And here, I thought you would rescue me. There is a precise mystical balance here. My every breath is dedicated to keeping the tear in the veil from ripping wider. And you would kill me now. Your narrow-minded actions would ensure that this place teems with their kind. Mm, well, I'm not sure I think so. Because I have an oath to keep. So everybody in this tower... I'm afraid has to die. My body may be frail, but my sorcery is not. And my Wait sword skills man. not either, pal. Oh! Um. oh! What the hell happened? I blacked out! You old coot! Come here! Get these things off me! Kill this old fool! Alive, come on! Bitch, is it everybody? <sighs> Level up! Do 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 do. Right, well, I'm going to temporarily pause it, I think, while I figure out how to level her up. So I have no use. Okay, what do we need? Strength, dexterity? Ah, yes.
Yes, we need some dexterity. Uh, in fact, quite a bit of dexterity. More than anything else, really. And wouldn't have cunning as well. Ooh, she's a master stealer. Combat tactics. Alright, what have we got here? We have dirty fighting below the belt, dual weapon. Look, below the belt. Dual weapon training. She's already got dual weapon training, hasn't she? Ah, yes, that is definitely necessary. There we go. Job done. On a wall. Spikes. Good grief. There was one mystery, however, that persisted. And this mystery perplexed even Commander Halwick herself. When Commander Asturia went to his calling in the Deep Rose, he did not have in his hand his sword, Asturian's Might, forged for him by Dwarven Smiths and presented to him upon the completion of Soldier's Peak. Nor did he pass the sword on to his successor or any of the Grey Warden. While some maintained that Asturian had simply destroyed the sword in his dotage, others believed he had stashed it away somewhere in Soldier's Peak. One young warden claimed that Asturian had once grabbed him by the shoulders, fixed him with an unwavering gaze, and said, The sword will remind you what it is to be a warden. Speak your oath to me. When the shadows come, you must speak the words. What this was supposed to mean was never made clear. So, exactly what? You learned about the establishment of base. The record state the commander stream may have built secrets, may have hidden something important. You found the clues, but where do they lead? So his hidden sword will be somewhere in here, I assume. Robes of Avernus. Okay, let's have a look. Can you benefit from these robes, Miss Morrigan? What do they give you? Plus three willpower, plus three armor, improves blood magic. A little bit better, but I don't want to. I like Morrigan's robes, as they are, thank you very much. I like them just fine. Right. Well, we've done what we promised our demon Dryden that we would do. Let's go back and see what she has to say for herself. Better like what she has to say, otherwise uh, I'm afraid she might find herself in a spot of trouble. She's here. subsided. The Magus's web is destroyed. This one remembers the deal. Come, follow. Follow, indeed. As we're running over time. Gossamer strands only stand between this world and home. Feel it? So deliciously weak here, so frail. The entire world should be as such. But this one will feed the veil, make it strong. My brethren will not make it easy. Are you ready? Ah, okay, I'm ready as I'll ever be. For the next part, I'll see you soon.